UI design is becoming more and more popular, and it seems that it's only going to increase in popularity in 2023. So what exactly is it? And how do you get started in this exciting field? Hi, my name is Ze Yu, a design team lead here at Career Foundry. And today I will cover everything you need to know about UI design and help you to make an informed decision if you are considering to start a career in this field. For a lot of people, when you mention UI design, they think of beautiful fonts, colors, or short-term visual trends. While it's definitely part of it, UI design is so much more than that. The work of a UI designer is increasingly recognized as an essential tool to increase user engagement and to create products that are both visual pleasing and user friendly. But there are many considerations that have to be made before the final product. Brand identity, accessibility, the goal of a product, and so on. UI design, also known as user interface design, is the process of creating interfaces with a focus on the look and the style. UI design typically refers to digital user interface, such as apps, web pages, or it can be voice-controlled interfaces. But then, what is user interface? A user interface is the point of human-computer interaction on an app, web page, or device. This can include keyboards, display screens, or the appearance of a desktop. User interface elements can be usually categorized into the following four fields. Input controls that allows users to put information into the system. For example, an entry field that enable users to register their email address. Navigational components that helps users to move around a website or app, such as a hamburger menu on an Android. Information components such as notifications, progress bars, and messaging tools that share information with the users. Containers that hold related contents together, such as accordions. But why is UI design so important? UI design is so much more than making a website pretty. In our technology-driven society, a good first impression is everything, and a bad first impression is a long-lasting impression. If your website is difficult to navigate, your user will seek for an engaging and more user-friendly alternative, meaning you will lose out on valuable leads and revenue. Even the shape of a button can determine whether the user understands what they're supposed to do on your website. So it's not something to be taken lightly. If you want your user to stick around, a well-designed interface can go a long way. UI design is so important, you might start thinking, what makes a good UI? And what to avoid to get away from creating a bad UI? There are some common traits of good and bad UI design. First of all, a good UI is intuitive. People can find their way around very easily. Second, it must feel familiar. Even when people arrive at your website the first time, they should feel like they know how it works. Lastly, leading. The best UI leads people from point to point, moving them along their journey to their ultimate goal. For example, buying your products. A bad UI can be unresponsive and interaction can be slow and clunky. It can also be complicated and confusing for people to use. Or the design is inconsistent. For example, you may find all the product pages have different visual styles. If you are interested in UI design, please subscribe to Career Foundry's YouTube channel. We have few more videos coming out on UI design, so stay tuned. Now let's dive into the more practical part what a UI designer does. Ultimately, UI designers are responsible for the product's interface to be easy to use, visually appealing, and aligned with the business goal. UI designers are also responsible for creating style guides that can be used across the business to ensure consistency. As a UI designer, you might have to wear multiple hats as part of one role. The tasks and projects of a UI designer work can vary depending on the role. For example, in-house or freelance, big corporations or startup, and so on. But there are few things that every UI designer can expect to do. Collaboration is the core aspect of a day-to-day -day UI designer's work. From understanding the vision of the client or to working on a wireframe that is provided by the UX designer, to handing the final prototypes over to the developers. You will collaborate at every level. A UI design role will require you to get very hands-on with design. This includes designing screens and visual touch points, as well as the interactivity behind them. 
Also, UI designers are responsible for ensuring consistency, creating a style guide or a visual language that can be used across the board. Prototyping and testing is a crucial part of UI designers' work, as it will allow you to ensure addressing errors or flaws before the final product goes live. To help you with all these tasks, there are a few industry standard tools. All of them use the same design principles for your work with some minor differences. Some are a little more in-depth with their features in design, whereas others are more suited for collaboration. Currently, the most popular tool for UI design is a very powerful in-browser-based tool that is called Figma. It is a one-stop shop for designing, prototyping, and gathering feedback. Others include Adobe XD and Sketch. All these tools will essentially allow you to work efficiently as a UI designer. So it's up to personal preference which tool you pick to learn. It can also depend on the team you work with. So check the requirements and expectations when you are applying for UI design roles. Many people believe a design-related degree or years of related work experience are necessary for a UI design career. In reality, employers are far more interested in your portfolio and whether you can demonstrate an understanding of core UI design principles rather than your formal qualifications. You can get started by reading relevant articles or following popular UI design accounts on Instagram, Dribbble, and Behance for inspirations. Also, there are a number of ways to attain your skill sets, from traditional paths like universities to more flexible options like small online courses. But the most efficient way to learn UI design, especially for beginners, is to sign up for UI Design Bootcamp course. They will take you from novice to professional, focusing on a balance of fundamental UI design theory and projects that will form the basis of a professional portfolio. So if UI design seems like a career for you, Career Foundry has a free UI design short course to get you started, where you can learn and practice your skills with some curated tasks. You can find a link in the description below. So there we have it. This is all the basics you need to know about UI design. With all this information, it should be easy for you to know if this aligns with your own interest. If there is anything unclear about UI design, the techniques involved in a typical work day, or the approach to applying for a job in this field, just let us know in the comments. UI design is an extremely dynamic career, so you always have to stay on the top of the trends and know where the industry is heading. We recently I recently filmed a video about UI design for 2023, outlining for how to be ahead of the game and what trends will impact your future work in this exciting field. It's a must watch if you are serious about starting out in UI design. So go check it out here and I will see you next time.